Hi there, this is Etox. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we are back with another video. This time, I will talk about the Code of Ethics for the Civil Engineering Professional and for the Structural Engineer or Structural Specialist. Stay tuned if you want to know more about this topic. But first, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell button to be updated of our latest posts. What is a Code of Ethics? A Code of Ethics is a guide of principles designed to help professionals conduct business honestly and with integrity. This document may outline the mission and values of the organization, how professionals are supposed to approach problems, the ethical principles based on the organization's core values, and the standards to which the professional is held. Why is it important to know the Code of Ethics? A Code of Ethics is important because it clearly lays out the rules for behavior and provides the groundwork for a preventive warning. The Code articulates the values the organization wishes to foster among the professionals and in doing so, defines desired behavior. As a result, written codes of ethics can become benchmarks against which individual and organizational performance can be measured. The aim of a code of ethics is to provide guidance for group members to avoid situations where people who are in a position of power can mistreat others. What is the Code of Ethics for Civil Engineers and Structural Engineers or Structural Specialists? For the Civil Engineering Professional, all civil engineers shall hold paramount to the safety, health, and welfare of the public and shall strive to comply with the principles of sustainable development in the performance of their duties. Perform services only in areas on their competence. Issue public statements only in an objective and truthful manner. Act in professional matters for each employer or client as faithful agents or trustees and shall avoid conflicts of interest. Build their professional reputation and the merit of their services and shall not compete unfairly with others. Act in such a manner as to uphold and enhance the honor, integrity, and dignity of the civil engineering profession. Continue their professional development throughout their career and shall provide opportunities for the professional development of those civil engineers under their supervision. For the structural engineers or structural specialists, it shall be considered unprofessional and inconsistent with a honorable and dignified bearing for any member of the Association of Structural Engineers of the Philippines Incorporated and the Institute of Specialist Structural Engineers of the Philippines Incorporated to act for his client or for his employer otherwise than a faithful agent or trustee. To accept remuneration for services rendered other than from his client or his employer. To attempt to supplant another engineer in a particular engagement after definite steps have been taken towards his employment. To attempt to injure, falsely or maliciously, the professional reputation, business, or employment position of another engineer. It is considered unprofessional to review the work of another engineer for a same client, except with the knowledge of engineer, unless such engineer's engagement in the work which is subject to review has been terminated, and to advise engineering services in self-laudatory language or in any manner derogatory to the dignity of the profession. It is also considered unprofessional to use the advantages of the salaried position to complete unfairly with other engineers, to exert under influence or to other, solicit or accept compensation for the purpose of effecting negotiations for an engineering engagement and to act in any manner derogatory to the honor, integrity, or dignity of the engineering profession. In conclusion, the Code of Ethics describes what brings the civil engineers and structural engineers together as a profession. 
This also serves as the foundation of the shared expectations of each other in the community. As a form of self-regulation, the Code of Ethics sets out the ground rules for decision-making for people who belong to a group. The expectation is that, as a professional belonging to this community of practice, you understand and agree to abide by this code. So that's it for this video. What do you think about it? If you like this video, please hit the like button. Let us know about your thoughts in the comment section. Or if there is anything that you want us to discuss, you could also leave it in the comment box below. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell button to be updated of our latest post. Once again, this is Etox, where we value your professional growth. See you on our next video. Bye!